I just helped them. I told them I'm a doctor. Shockingly, they didn't, didn't think I was a doctor, but they kind of let me help him. It is so shocking. The guy had a seizure in the liquor shop and he fell on all the liquor and everything fell on. He was bleeding. Uh, I couldn't do any vlogging there, unfortunately, and I shouldn't have, and neither I did I do. But it's so sad to see people suffering like that. And we were able to get the, uh, uh, the emergency department there. Um, EMS is there helping him out, so hopefully he'll be fine. Uh, we kind of looked after him for a little bit, his pulse was fine, but it's so sad. Um, what a bad way to start a vacation. I'm sure they were here for vacation, but you know what? Be appreciative for where you are in life. Be thankful, take care of yourself, take care of your body, and things can happen in life, and these are sometimes these are just things, but you know, they're so sad. My heart is so broken to see this happen. Uh, I wish them all the best. Uh, the mother-in-law was a nurse and there was also another pediatrician. We kind of talked about things. Hopefully, they may have to go to the ER to get things figured out and hopefully things are good. Beautiful guys, 90 degrees, breeze, not humid, wonderful, just the way it's supposed to be for the only mentor. Wow, huge COVID testing site. I guess he knew that here. Okay guys, the luggage is in. It's a pretty big uh, pickup. I think we can survive and we have amazing people with us so hope Go ahead, yes, tell us where are we? How are you? My name is Manrique, I'm a tourist and we're driver, uh, Senor Ronald. Welcome to Costa Rica first and we are specifically in a province of Costa Rica called Guanacaste. Um, this is the second largest province in the country, a number one least population. Now we are driving face west, you can see the sun over there, so driving face to the west. And we're going to Junquillal, which is around an hour and a half away from the market. bathrooms outside of my house so we'll just uh, skip the bathroom line so guys in this market uh, it's kind of confusing we have toys and we have food right next to each other uh, i think we want some fresh juice i don't know if this is fresh or not uh, it says fresa so fresa sounds like fresh i don't know we'll ask uh men read yes. okay guys everyone hate me for this i'm well known uh, that I am well known for going aisle by aisle because you know either you have a list of things that you want to buy or you just go aisle by aisle and you won't miss anything especially when you're in a different country and you have to ask people to bring you out and you need right so we need to be a little careful about that 2000 years later hello guys after a long day we have made it to our Airbnb seems like a pretty nice place we have the whole house supposedly but I don't know, it's just kind of far away from the real world. Too rural for me. I'm a city boy, but you know, I think I'm gonna survive because it's right on the beach. So you'll be seeing a lot of this place uh, over the next few days. So this is our home for the next five days, I think. And then we'll be moving. So guys, the, the nearest restaurant is kind of a local place. We decided to come just have a local food. And people are happy, smiling, singing. There is live singing here, I guess. Let's see. 
Y en noches de bohemia nos dejábamos hogar, mas todo ya pasó. El tiempo nos llevó y aquí ya ves, yo estoy ir igual. ¡Hey! Al final la vida sigue igual. What's in it? Guacamole? Yes, I have guacamole, pico de gallo, and black beans. Okay? Wow, I and love that for you. I love that for you. Yes. Good job. Thank you very much. Yes. It's going to be fun. Guys, so I ordered a mixed ceviche and seafood Thank soup. You. We'll see how that goes. Where are you from? I am yeah. from Pakistan, Pakistan originally. Pakistan? Okay. But I grew up in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. But now I live in America. In America. And I'm a doctor. Okay. And I'm also on social media, Instagram and YouTube. Yeah. You do that? No, I no. don't have Instagram. One day you will have it and no, then okay. you'll follow yeah. me. I'll give you yeah. my card. <laughs> yes, yes. But, uh, yeah. Ladies, and for you? Ladies. Can I get Ladies? a pasta with shrimp and pesto? Okay. Oh, that's Thank too. you. So guys, I ordered a ceviche and I ordered a seafood, a seafood uh, soup, I mean. Two so we'll see how that pasta. goes. Okay. Oh, yeah. What, what is it? Uh, What's the name? No, it's name uh, Thomas. Thomas? Thomas? Uh, Thomas? Thomas. Thomas. Okay. Oh, boy? Bonito. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> sí, es un chineado. Muy bonito. bonito. Gracias. Gracias. Bienvenidos a Costa Rica. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yo lo thank you. you got to pet him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bueno, hasta luego. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. So guys, the curiosity in me, I want to go and check out what's going on in the kitchen. So let's go see. Oh, I guess that's the bar. Guys, we just experienced a dog fight. <laughs> One dog that was just connected with the, the leash and the chair ran towards the other dog. And it's quite a scene here, let me show you. So guys, this was the dog that came towards this dog and attacked the dog. Oh my goodness. Is he okay? okay. That dog is dangerous. Ah, no, no problem. No, no problem, okay. <laughs> Looks dangerous to me. With these plantains that are locally uh, grow, wow. uh, you like uh, refry them twice. Wow. And then you will put taste of uh, smash beans homemade, pico de gallo, which is a delicious uh, sauce, tomato mm -hmm. and onion, and guacamole. Thank Enjoy. you very much. Thank okay. you. Thank you. So guys, I love plantain. I mean, it's like really one of my favorite things. We don't find it much in Minneapolis. Uh, how to find good plantain and to make it the right way. This is really good. So I'm going to take a bite. It is really, really hot. Ooh, but let me try. Okay, I'm going to try with fresh beans. And see how that goes. Mmm. So authentic, so fresh, so hot. <laughs> Hello guys, the only mentor here. So we are going to do a quick... Uh, walk through this beautiful Airbnb. It's in kind of middle of nowhere on a beach on Pacific Ocean. It's called Castillo de Coral, uh, like a coral reef uh, castle. So here we go, guys. Let's <laughs>
relaxation really bad okay so another bedroom every room in the house is air conditioned and almost has a television which I have no desire for okay so with all the bedrooms on the upper level you have access to the balcony and let's go see what's that all about oh wow this is amazing guys amazing 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 I love it beautiful we're gonna enjoy Costa Rica so much we decided to stay away from big cities, big hotels. Decided to come out to uh, a kind of a rural area where there are not that many people. Very isolated, very beautiful. We'll go out for activities every day and come back and relax and enjoy. And I think someone is already enjoying there. Hi, Noreen. Hi. Yep, she found her. Yep. She found her drink there. She said there's a swing out there. Is that a swing? Maybe it is. We'll have to find out tomorrow. It's beautiful. Guys, stay tuned for more. Catherine? <laughs> Guys, we have a problem. There's no water in this Airbnb. I mean, supposedly this is a five-star Airbnb that I'm paying premium price, no water. So there's a caretaker here. No one is answering, so we're just gonna go around the house. Catherine! Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, maybe we can knock the door here. She's sleeping. So this is the entrance? And she's sleeping. Catherine! Really, really kind of scary and embarrassing, but I don't know what else to do. But the lights are off, I don't even know if she's here. But the car is here. This is the access to the beach. Okay, let's see if Catherine comes out. Oh my goodness, had to put to that Catherine story, the end of the war story. So, supposedly, there is no Catherine downstairs, and now there's Josephina, but supposedly, she wasn't there tonight. Uh, and the water issue is that on Sunday sometimes the city shuts the water down it's like back home I guess <laughs> so there's no water so supposedly um, it's gonna come at some point and uh, I just heard a few minutes ago that maybe it just came a little bit so part and parcel of being in Costa Rica I guess but it's okay not a big deal hopefully we'll have a better day tomorrow stay tuned for more. <laughs> 